Christmas. This is all I'm asking for. All I want for Christmas. 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 Is you. <laughs> we all know the dangers of smoking and obviously the restrictions around buying cigarettes. Well, now there's been a suggestion that we should have the same for junk food and sweets. So, for example, perhaps you could have them behind screens in shops so you can't actually see them like you have with fags. Uh, this is an idea to try and help curb obesity, which is costing £100 billion a year. That figure is expected to go up as well. It comes at the same time as anti-obesity measures such as uh, a nine o'clock junk food advertising watershed and also a ban on buy one get one free deals on unhealthy products have actually been delayed until 2025. Do you think it's a good idea that sweets should be sold like cigarettes? Um, let's ask some about lunchmates about it as well. Sandra you've worked in the NHS haven't you? What do you think? Yeah I mean it, it really is a serious topic and it's a really difficult one and I really value what everybody's just said here and already there's real diverse comments being made when I worked for the NHS, there were five key areas that we desperately wanted within the NHS to get a handle on. Two of them were heart disease and diabetes. Mm -hmm. And the seriousness and the amount of money that goes that the NHS is spending on just those two alone is colossal. Dave's cholesterol recently over the last two weeks has shot up. He's obviously eating too much chocolate. It's nearly Christmas. And it is a serious matter, you know, does he go on statins or doesn't he? It's a really important one. My dad's had two heart bypass operations and, and fortunately survived. But it is, it, it's worth putting this on the table and, and thinking seriously about what do we need to do? Yeah. Wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. A Happy New Year. Christmas tour are on sale now. Hello everyone. Um, Hello. I hear you've got you've caused a bit of chaos online again, Russell, with a you've had a rant about something. What is no, it this time? It's not a rant, it's not chaos. A lot of people are saying what an excellent idea. Mm -hmm. Everyone's, you know, struggling <laughs> here for money, struggling for time, we'll work too hard. So my proposition is this. If you are a relative of someone who has children, brother-in-law, sister-in-law, friend, cousin, grandparent, gift time, a voucher in a card. Here's a weekend pass. I will look after the little un or little uns on this weekend. Or here's an evening voucher or maybe a book of vouchers to be cashed in throughout the year because the one gift parents want, it's not a coffee subscription. I don't want gin. I don't want soap. I want to be able to go to the toilet without da -da, coming through the door just one, <laughs> one, night, one night a week. So give the gift of time. It's yeah. free and your, and your adult children or your relatives will or your friends will cry with happiness and yeah. greatness. It's not one for Sandra, though, is it? Oh. Absolutely not. Time, oh. time and effort is what I expect. <gasps> People to go to the shops to actually understand who oh. I am, buy me a lovely gift. That's what I expect. Oh. I think it's a cop-out. I really, oh. well, really you do. Speak to people with small children. They will be begging, <laughs> begging you for this gift. And I notice you've taken your Christmas hat off to make that point. <laughs> <laughs> She did. She had a hat when she made the serious point earlier. Yeah. That was on. <laughs> really We're going to go to the Christmas Grinch of the studio, which is Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra the Hatless, you may speak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you actually stopped music being Christmas music being played. I, oh, yeah. I, I, I got a new job working for the police, and within the first week, I was horrified. I just thought. I can't concentrate, I can't do my job, so I banned it. Everybody hated me. 
But do you know what? The worst thing was that they were humming and singing out of tune all mm. day long. I was like, no, it's got to stop. That's not the way to get presents. Sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> I quite like it, the police getting arrested. Well, I mean, as long as they're in tune, of course, yeah. singing it on support. <laughs> Anything but really good lie on support. Exactly. It would um, be too coarse and it would be a bit bitty, a bit bitty in your cake. You don't want that, do you, Sandra? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I have to say, Sandra, as well, I've based my fairy godfather character on you. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's from Hull. Oh, brilliant. And it's got a zest for life and a bendy spine. Oh, <laughs> yeah. thank you. Uh, and is he as miserable as Sandra? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no comment for legal reasons. <laughs> in with the eggs. In love. <laughs> and then in with some self raising flour as well. So you can see it really is a one ball masterpiece, this. It's, Christmas music at work. The votes are in. It is decisive, OK? Should it be banned? Ban it, 20%. Keep it, 80 Yay! Where's that hat? Put your hat back on. Give it up for G4! Steph's pack lunch, where we hope you have a fabulous Christmas, everybody. You know this last section. When we finally say goodnight, oh, I hate going out in the storm. But if you really hold me tight, all the way home I'll be warm. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. Since we know place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. Oh, the weather outside is frightful, but the fire is so delightful. And since we know place to go, let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. 